Welcome back to Breakfast Television. The High Performance Rodeo is underway. A solo show not to miss is Cafe Daughter, starring Juno Award winner Tiffany Eilek. And she's here now to tell us about this unique coming-of-age story. Good morning to you, Good Tiffany. Morning. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, my pleasure. So tell us all about the show. What's it all about? So it uh, is inspired by the real-life story of Senator Lillian Quantic and... Um, you know, it, it looks, it takes place in Saskatchewan, which mm -hmm. I understand you're a Saskatchewan That's girl. my home province. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's based in uh, Saskatchewan in the 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. and it looks at a really interesting piece of Canadian politics and um, law and legislation in Saskatchewan that uh, prevented um, Chinese-owned businesses, you know, laundromats, cafes, smoke shops, things like that, from hiring white women to oh, work really? in their establishments. So this is an interesting piece of Canadian legislation that, that not a lot of people know about. No, I and, didn't. Um, you know, as a result of that sort of white protection act that yeah. happened in, in Saskatchewan, um, the only people who could really work in these Chinese-run cafes were Indigenous women. So as a result of that, I think that there are, you know, um, you know families were started as a result of that. And um, so there's these sort of two different demographics of people in Canada who were sort of systematically, you know, pushed out to the, um, to the perimeter of society. And as a result of this, um, you know, lots of families and, and this interesting little crossing of worlds has happened in the prairies, especially, you know, in the 50s and 60s. And Lillian is one of these, Senator Lillian is one of these people. Um, so her... Her father is uh, Chinese and her mother uh, is Cree. And um, so this looks at the story of this sort of um, multicultural family and how, you know, during that time she was, uh, you know, the, the, the play takes sort of creative liberties with her story. Sure. But... <clears throat> You know, as a character, she was uh, sort of held back and, and put into the slow class because of the discrimination and racism in the schools, wow. and um, who was really held back for a lot of different reasons, but who went on to accomplish incredible things and, uh, you know, becomes a doctor and, you know, now sits in the Senate and wow. yeah, just this incredible sort of slingshot story of this really amazing woman. Wow. And this woman, of course, still alive, still in the Senate, and she's coming yeah. to your opening night performance Yay. on Friday. <laughs> yeah. What's that like? Is that intimidating? Um, it was at first when I, when I, you know, when we first started doing this show in 2015. Um, so I, I hadn't met her, and like my first time meeting her was opening night, and her and the playwright, those stinkers, they sat right front <laughs> oh, row center, no. and I was like, oh great, this is perfect. <laughs> Wow! So that was the first time I met them, and uh, it was it was so great. And she she loves the show, and oh, um, yeah, it was just an honor to meet her. And uh, she's been coming back to see the show whenever she can. Um, and yeah, we've been touring it um, pretty steadily since 2015, and it's been great. That's terrific. Yeah. Now, what's it like for you as a performer? Because you play all of these different characters. It's a solo show. How do you keep that up? Uh, it's like a it's like a sprint and a marathon at the same time. Wow. Because, <laughs> you, know? um, you know, sometimes these characters are having arguments with each other and sometimes, you know, there's, uh, you know, lots of tension that happens. And so it's a it's a funny thing to, you know, know both sides of an argument that's happening. And uh, I kind of... Um, it's almost like people, anyone who's done puppetry, you know, that sometimes this puppet takes over and you're trying to, <laughs> to re react to what this, like, what's happening here. Um, so it's funny when sometimes a character will just, like, go a bit rogue and then I right. have to kind of <laughs> catch up with them. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. You also said that napping is key. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a power napper. I can nap anywhere, anytime. It's like, oh, concrete floor, perfect. 20 perfect. minutes, I'm great. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Terrific. Tiffany, thank you so much for coming and telling us oh, all about this you. show. So it's actually in previews tonight and then it runs right through until Sunday January 27th at the Martha Cohen Theatre in Arts Commons. Thank you so much for being here and good luck with the run. Oh thank you. We're gonna go for a break here on Breakfast Television when we come back more news weather and traffic. Stay with us.